I would uh, ask them to utilize what is given in the speed app to a good and judicious manner. First thing that I actually did was to open the app and see all of the different sections. There were e-notes is completely separate. The grand test part is separate. The videos are separate and the videos have also been segregated very beautifully into different sections. And I believe that to be able to navigate through the app and utilize it well is a very crucial part of one's preparation. I bring in all the wishes and greetings from on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute and team of Speed to Dr. Kritika Kuntal for scoring rank number 71 uh, in speciality of DM Anasisia Group uh, for NEET SS 2024 session. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Great to have you today. And we wish to know your brief background from where you started till date, what all you have done. Uh, so my uh, post-graduation, sir, is in MD Anesthesia from uh, Shri Bhausa Bhire, Garden Medical College, Dhule, which is in Maharashtra. And I have given my NEET SS in, uh, um, in this first attempt. This is my first attempt for this exam. And I have started preparing an EO before. Great. Now, MBBS is from? Uh, sir, my MBBS is from VMGMC Solapur, which is again in Maharashtra. So, I have done my UG and PG uh, both from Maharashtra, sir. Excellent. Wonderful place. I visited all those places, actually. Yes, and, sir. Absolutely. Yeah, great. Now, uh, can you tell us what DM Anastasia you wanted to do in subspeciality? Mm -hmm. So, that's a good question, sir. Uh, the first remarkable thing I would like to start with is that in 2022 and 23. Around 700 people had appeared for the DM Anesthesia group. And this year, the number has increased to around 1300, which was absolutely unexpected. And it only shows the growing demand and the need for good super specialists in anesthesia as well for in our country. So around 1300 people had appeared this year. And uh, last year, sir, when I started preparing, my main focus was to get a good rank so that I can choose the super speciality of my choice. And my interest areas were cardiac anesthesia, sir, and neuroanesthesia. Great. So you're going to choose between cardiac and neuroanesthesia. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great. So once you decided to go ahead with the DM super speciality, yes, what sir. did you start? How did you start? What all you did to achieve this? Yes, sir. So one of the good decisions that I had taken, sir, was to subscribe uh, to the Speed app and I had taken the DM Anesthesia course and my preparation began at the beginning of my third year in my residency. So approximately an year before the exam. And even though there were a lot of uncertainties regarding when our exam would be held and when uh, the exam could be taking place, I still thought that uh, even with six months of good preparation, if it is dedicated, I uh, will be able to secure a good rank. And uh, sir, in that I had subscribed to the DM Anesthesia course and I found it really helpful, sir, uh, to me getting a good rank finally in NEET SS. Excellent. Now... When in uh, when anesthesia when CCM got separated, I mean with this exclusive yes, exam yes. which came, I mean hmm. have you had any decision to do CCM as well or no? Uh, no, sir. Actually, uh, the thing with critical care medicine, sir, the, the decision taken by the authorities were actually were, was actually good to separate the question paper and then have a completely separate group for the same. But sir, I wanted to stay in touch with my OT. And as much I like, as much as I like the ICU setup as well, I decided to stick with the DM anesthesia part so that I stay and I can work in the OT as well. So I had not appeared for the critical care paper. Uh, I had appeared only for the DM anesthesia paper, sir. Okay, great. Now, uh, number of questions you attended this exam. Yes, sir. As per your advice, which I would say was absolutely brilliant to attempt as many questions as possible. And I had attempted 147 questions, sir, out of 150. Okay. Which great. I felt was a good strategy at the end of the day. The day before the exam. Yes, sir. So I had attempted 147 questions, sir. Great. Now, what is your advice for the future aspirants of uh, DM Anasisia Superficiality? Sir, the first thing I would like to start off with would be to say that the demand for super speciality in our country is only going to have an increasing trend in the upcoming years. And I would uh, ask them to utilize what is given in the speed app to a good and judicious manner. So, sir, I would like to start off with uh, Dr. Shruti Pandey's ma'am. Uh, she had taken an anesthesia live uh, lectures, which were around 100 hours duration. 
So Correct. I had in a separate notebook, I had prepared the number of lectures which are going to be taken by ma'am with the topic and the duration of each lecture. And I found ma'am's lectures were extremely conceptual. At the same time, they were very MCQ oriented and they were able to complete all of the important topics that are frequently asked in the exam. So those hundred hours of those video lectures were extremely useful for the academic exam and even by teaching ma'am would say that this is an MCQ and this has been frequently asked. So I would note that down with a separate colored pen in my notebook and I tried to complete all of the videos in the first six months of my preparation so that the last six months I would leave only for revision and more of question solving. Okay. So then when you went through the neuroanesthesia, the cardiac anesthesia, there are sub anesthesia, anesthesia topics which are there. Yes, that. there are sub anesthesia topics as well, which have been taken by the individual faculty, which are the best in their fields. I also took neuroanesthesia lectures by Dr. Vasanti Vidya Sagaran, ma'am, one of the legendary faculties in anesthesia. And I really found uh, those lectures not to be helpful, only not for neat SS, but also for my MD university exam. So I was able to write a lot of my answers uh, from ma'am's notes as well. Great. Now, uh, I mean, did you go through the basics also? I mean, uh, the basics of anesthesia, uh, I mean, where the of the PG standard of uh, anesthesia, did you yes, go Yes, sir. That? Dr. Akhilan Suresh's yeah. lectures were taken of yeah. general anesthesia, where sir had covered all of the basics like the physics, the cylinders, the pharmacology, from where a lot of questions were asked even in the upcoming exam. I had made a separate uh, note for that as well. I found that useful too. Yeah. So the construction of that... Uh, uh, the source and the course was from the basics, then to the sub specialities, yes, then sir, to PG standard and a level above the PG standard. Correct, sir. Correct, sir. And wherever I felt like my topics were slightly weak, for example, I felt like cardiac was more difficult for me to understand, then I would focus more on those videos and I would bookmark them and go through the e notes again if I were not able to understand any point before. Great. So you have dived down deep into the app and you have explained us what are, where are available. So the first thing that I actually did was to open the app and see all of the different sections. There were e-notes is completely separate. The grand test part is separate. The videos are separate. And the videos have also been segregated very beautifully into different sections. And I believe that to be able to navigate through the app and utilize it well is a very crucial part of one's preparation. Even the grand test, sir, I had made a, a separate chart for that. How many grand tests are there in the app? And sir, I would try to give one GT every week and I would also emphasize, I would give it in the time the exam was actually held. So I would give one GT from 2 o'clock to 4.30, sir, every Sunday. And I would try to review the answers on the very same day. Great. Now, doctor, what, what is the time? This is the time to thank what people who helped you, supported you from day one till date what you are today. You can use this platform. Sir, I would be, uh, I would first of all really start off with my parents who have been uh, the biggest source of motivation for me in this journey. And they have really supported me from day one, all of my dreams and all of my aspirations. And sir, there were a certain section of people who would be slightly dis discouraging as well. There would be 20%, 30% of the people who would tell me that, you know, super speciality may not be necessary after anesthesia. But I knew deep down that this is what I wanted to do. I would take that as a positive, uh, constructive criticism. And I would only focus on having a very positive mindset. And second, sir, would be my department, my department of anesthesia and my PG college. I am also quite grateful to them for providing me a very non-hostile environment to work with in all of these three years. And sir, of course, the entire the entire group of the speed faculty. And sir, especially you, sir, because I would always follow your videos. And I would love the fact that even 10 days before, 7 days before, and 3 days before you would upload a new video. That is the time, sir, we actually need the most amount of motivation. Because you start self-doubting. And I would always see how positive you were and how encouraging <laughs> you were. And you would ask us not to give up at the last moment. So even till the last day, I was seeing ki what has sir uploaded and what points has sir said to follow one day before. So sir, thank you for those uh, motivating videos wherein you are always focusing on having a very positive mindset. And I felt that helped me in the actual exam. 
Did you follow a day before the exam? What all instructions I gave? Yes, sir. Actually, you had told us very specifically what all pointers have to be taken before you enter the exam hall, and how to be positive, to stay hydrated, to take a light snack. I had <laughs> absolutely downloaded that video. I shared it as well, and I had followed it to the T because, sir, even your exam day strategy will have some contribution in how you perform in the actual exam. So I had followed that, sir. Till the very last day, I was following it, sir. I'm I'm, I'm very happy that you followed, yes, <laughs> and it gave you results. That was more important. Yes, sir. So once again, I bring in all the wishes and greetings to you, whole heart you, to you, for uh, super speciality that are going to be in in Anasisia in DM super speciality, and what are we going to take it up? I'm going to do at, at great rights at a great energy level. And Thank you, sir. Thank I you so much. I mean, I conducted so far the high energy level, <laughs> an intense energy level of an interview I conducted today, and I'm, I'm, it's very impressive, and I'm very happy. Thank you. Thank and, you, sir. Thank you so and, much. And this is very important because this kind of energy is very important on the table, on the OT table. I mean, this kind yes, of sir. alertness, this kind of uh, responsiveness. Because we expect as a cardiothoracic surgeon, we expect quick responses. And Absolutely, quick responses. sir. And so getting a we... compliment from a surgeon, sir, for me, that is even better. Yeah. <laughs> just made my day. <laughs> yeah, that's what. You quickly respond, right? I mean, what comes in my mind, you just take it up. That's what we expect, actually. On the table, we might require something that we keep doing. The yes, doctors sir. Doctors should understand what we're up to. So, I mean, yes, I mean you'll make... Great, I'll tell you. you thank will, you, thank you, you so much, sir. Thank you, you. and thank you to the entire Speed team. And you guys, you people are doing a wonderful job. You're fulfilling all of our dreams. We are very grateful, sir. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you, thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you.